Have you ever wondered about the healing power of traditional medicine? Let's dive into the world of the Dao ethnic group, nestled in Vietnam's Northern Highlands. Here, traditional medicine is not just a healthcare alternative, but a cornerstone of cultural heritage that has been passed down through generations. The Dao, also known as Yao, have a profound knowledge of the region's flora. Over centuries, they have meticulously studied the healing properties of indigenous herbs, turning these natural resources into invaluable medicinal assets. Their knowledge extends to hundreds of different plant species, each one offering unique therapeutic benefits. Among these myriad herbs, some are used to treat specific ailments, while others are combined in intricate recipes that target overall well-being. From calming teas to potent salves, the Tao's traditional medicine practice is a testament to their deep-rooted respect for nature and its healing potential. Perhaps the most emblematic of the Tao's medicinal practices is the Yao Herbal Bath. This soothing ritual involves a unique blend of herbs, carefully selected for their detoxifying properties. After a challenging hike in the misty mountains of Sapa or Lao Cai, there's nothing quite like immersing oneself in this warm, aromatic bath. The Yao Herbal Bath is more than just a spa treatment. It's a cultural experience that offers a glimpse into the Tao's ancient wisdom and their symbiotic relationship with the natural world. As the warm water envelops your body, the potent herbs work their magic, soothing aching muscles, boosting circulation, and promoting a sense of deep relaxation. The regions of Sapa and Lao Cai, where these practices are prevalent, are not just places. They are living museums of a culture that has thrived in harmony with nature for centuries. Here, every leaf has a purpose, every root holds a cure, and every bath is a rejuvenating journey. A rejuvenating Yao herbal bath is an experience that soothes the body and the soul. It's a testament to the Tao's profound understanding of nature's healing power, a wisdom that continues to thrive in the heart of Vietnam's misty mountains. Ready to embark on a journey through breathtaking landscapes? The Hmong people, one of Vietnam's many ethnic minorities, reside predominantly in the mountainous regions of the north. Their deep connection to the land is a testament to a life lived in harmony with nature, a rhythm that can be felt in the heartbeat of the mountain trails they've tread for centuries. Hiking tours with the Hmong are not merely about traversing the rugged terrain. They are an immersive experience into a culture that has thrived in symbiosis with its environment. Each step you take on this journey is a step back in time, a step closer to understanding the rich cultural heritage of the Hmong. As you hike through the remote hamlets of Mu Kang Chai, Ha Jiang, or Sapa, you are surrounded by nature's grandeur. Verdant terraced rice fields cascade down mountainsides, serene rivers meander through valleys, and ancient forests stand tall, their canopies sheltering a myriad of life. It is in this stunning natural scenery that the Hmong have made their home, and it is here that they welcome you to share in their way of life. Accompanied by knowledgeable Hmong guides, you are regaled with tales of their ancestors, stories that have been passed down through generations. They speak of their people's resilience, their celebrations and struggles, and their profound respect for nature. These narratives, woven into the fabric of the landscape, come alive as you traverse the trails, adding a cultural depth to your hiking adventure. As you journey through these lands, you'll come to appreciate the Hmong's resourcefulness and their sustainable way of life. The terraced fields, a testament to their agricultural ingenuity, are a sight to behold, especially during harvest season when they transform into a sea of gold. You'll witness the Hmong's intricate textile art, their vibrant clothing hand-woven and dyed using natural materials. But it's not just about the sights and sounds, it's about the people you meet along the way, the smiles that greet you, the hands that welcome you into their homes, the shared meals and the shared stories. It's about the connections you make, the understanding you gain, and the memories you create. A hike with the Hmong is more than just a trek through Vietnam's stunning landscapes. It's an exploration of human spirit, resilience, and cultural richness. It's a journey that brings you closer to the heart of Vietnam, its people, and their enduring traditions. A hike with the Hmong is a journey through Vietnam's stunning landscapes and rich cultural heritage. How about immersing yourself in the tranquil lakeside life of the Tay? Let's journey to the serene landscapes of northern Vietnam, where the Tay ethnic group resides. Known for their warmth and hospitality, the Tay people extend a heartfelt invitation to their homes, opening up a world of rich cultural experiences for visitors. The Tay people, one of the oldest ethnic groups in Vietnam, have a deep-rooted connection with their natural environment. 
Living along the rivers and valleys of the northern provinces, they have honed their skills in fishing and farming, imbuing their daily lives with a rhythm that is in sync with nature's ebb and flow. An integral part of the Tay cultural experience is a stay at a traditional lakeside homestay. Here, you won't just be a guest, you'll become a part of the Tay family, sharing meals, stories, and daily activities. These homestays, often nestled on the banks of pristine lakes like Bobby Lake, provide an idyllic setting to soak in the tranquility of rural Vietnam. One of the most engaging activities you can partake in during your stay is learning traditional fishing techniques from the Tay. Fishing is not just a means of subsistence for the Tay people, but a cherished tradition passed down through generations. As you paddle out on the placid lake waters in a traditional dugout canoe, guided by your Tay host, you'll gain a deeper appreciation for their way of life. But the Tay experience isn't just about learning their fishing methods, it's about immersing yourself in their world, sharing in their daily routines, and appreciating the beauty of their simple yet fulfilling lives. It's about waking up to the symphony of nature, with chirping birds heralding the dawn, and the rustling leaves singing a lullaby as the sun sets. It's about savoring meals cooked with fresh produce from the garden and fish caught from the lake, the flavors imbued with the love and warmth of your Tay hosts. As the day winds down, you'll find yourself sitting by the lakeside, a blanket of stars overhead, the gentle lapping of water against the shore providing a soothing soundtrack. Sharing stories and laughter with your Tay hosts, you'll feel a sense of belonging, a connection that transcends language and cultural barriers. Booking a lakeside homestay with the Tay is more than just a getaway. It's a journey into the heart of Vietnam's ethnic diversity, a chance to experience a different rhythm of life, one that's in tune with nature. It's an opportunity to forge connections that go beyond the usual tourist trail, to learn, to share, and to grow. A lakeside homestay with the Tay offers a serene retreat into Vietnam's natural beauty. It's an invitation to experience a slice of Vietnam's cultural heritage, to immerse yourself in the hospitality and warmth of its people, and to carry a piece of this enriching journey in your heart. Ever marveled at the grand structures of the Banar communal houses? Today, we delve into the world of the Banar, an ethnic group from the central highlands of Vietnam, recognized for their distinctive architecture and the deep cultural significance of their communal houses. The Banar, also known as the Bana people, are indigenous to the Central Highlands, a region characterized by rolling hills, dense forests, and a rich cultural tapestry. The Banar are known for their communal spirit, which is beautifully manifested in their unique architectural style. At the heart of Banar architecture are their towering communal houses, locally known as Rong. These magnificent structures dominate the landscape of Banar villages, their soaring roofs rising majestically above the treetops. Constructed without the use of nails or metal, these houses are a testament to the Banar's architectural prowess and their profound respect for natural resources. Each communal house is a labor of love, built collectively by the community. The process of constructing a wrong house is a community event that can take several months to complete. It involves meticulous planning, collective labor, and intricate craftsmanship, reflecting the unity and cooperative spirit of the Bonar people. The wrong houses are not just architectural marvels, they serve as the cultural and social hub of the Bonar community. These grand structures host everything from village meetings and traditional ceremonies to festive celebrations, reinforcing the sense of community and unity among the Banar. The design of the wrong houses is deeply symbolic, embodying the Banar's beliefs and values. The towering height of the house represents the Banar's respect for the sky deities, while the intricately carved wooden columns depict ancestral spirits and mythical creatures, narrating tales of the Banar's rich folklore. The communal houses of the Banar people are more than just grand structures. They are living symbols of their cultural identity, embodying their collective spirit, ancestral beliefs, and communal way of life. These houses are the beating heart of Banar villages, resonating with the laughter and voices of the community, echoing with the rhythm of traditional music and dance, and whispering tales of the Banar's rich heritage and history. Exploring the Banar communal houses, one can't help but be awestruck by their grandeur and the profound cultural significance they hold. They stand as a testament to the Banar's architectural ingenuity and their strong sense of community, offering a captivating glimpse into their unique cultural heritage. 
The grand structures of the Banar are a testament to their communal spirit and architectural prowess. As we unravel the cultural treasures of Vietnam, these towering communal houses remind us of the rich tapestry of ethnic diversity that makes this land so fascinating. Ready to delve into the spiritual realm of the Khmer community? The Mekong Delta, often known as the Rice Bowl of Vietnam, is not only famed for its lush landscapes and floating markets, but is also home to a significant Khmer community. This community, with roots dating back hundreds of years, weaves a unique thread in the rich tapestry of Vietnam's cultural heritage. The Khmer people are known for their deep-rooted spirituality, which is beautifully reflected in their ornate pagodas. These pagodas are not just architectural marvels, but also serve as cultural epicenters, providing a glimpse into the beliefs and traditions of the Khmer community. Nestled amidst verdant landscapes, these pagodas are often adorned with intricate carvings, each telling a unique story of the divine. Living within these pagodas are resident monks, who not only maintain the sanctity of these spiritual structures, but also play a pivotal role in the lives of the local Khmer community. Engaging with these monks offers a fascinating insight into the Buddhist philosophy and the way it permeates daily life in the Mekong Delta. But the true essence of the Khmer culture comes alive during auspicious occasions. Traditional rituals, often accompanied by rhythmic chants and the soft glow of candlelight, create a mesmerizing spectacle. These ceremonies, steeped in centuries-old traditions, offer a captivating glimpse into the spiritual realm of the Khmer people. From the architectural splendors of the pagodas to the serene rituals, a visit to the Khmer community in the Mekong Delta is like stepping into a different world. A world where spirituality intertwines with everyday life, where ancient traditions are cherished and where every corner tells a story of faith and devotion. A visit to the Khmer Pagodas is an enchanting journey into the spiritual realm of Vietnam's Mekong Delta. This journey not only introduces you to the rich cultural heritage of the Khmer community, but also offers an opportunity to engage with tradition and spirituality in its most authentic form. Vietnam's rich ethnic diversity offers a unique journey into the country's soul. As we've traversed through the lush landscapes, vibrant cultures, and age-old traditions, We've had the privilege of encountering five of Vietnam's ethnic communities, each bringing us a step closer to understanding the pulsating heart of this fascinating land. Our journey began with the Tao, delving into the world of traditional medicine. From the misty mountains to the tranquil herb gardens, we discovered the power of indigenous plants and experienced the calming properties of a Yao herbal bath. From there, we ventured into the breathtaking landscapes of northern Vietnam, guided by the Hmong people. Each step through the remote villages of Mu Kang Chai, Ha Giang, or Sapa was a stride deeper into their rich cultural heritage, painted with stories of their ancestral homeland. Our next stop was the serene Babi Lake, where we enjoyed the warm hospitality of the Tay people. Fishing under the soft glow of the setting sun, we found ourselves immersed in the Tay way of life, a testament to their harmonious relationship with nature. In the heart of Vietnam's Central Highlands, we marveled at the architectural prowess of the Banar people. Their towering communal houses, symbols of unity and community spirit, offered us a glimpse into their strong sense of camaraderie and collective identity. Our journey culminated in the tranquil setting of the Mekong Delta, amid the grandeur of Khmer pagodas. Here, we were welcomed into the spiritual realm of the Khmer community, with the resonating chants of monks and the mesmerizing rituals during auspicious occasions. Each encounter, each experience, has painted a vibrant picture of Vietnam's ethnic diversity, a rich tapestry woven with threads of tradition, culture, and community spirit. These encounters remind us of the importance of understanding and appreciating the cultural heritage that shapes the identity of a nation. Join us on our journey as we unravel the cultural treasures of this fascinating land. Until next time, safe travels.